Raging Cajuns podcast. I'm your host, Kevin. I won't say my last name for a specific reason here in just a moment, but I'm here with two very special guests. Some would call them a dynamic duo of sorts. Freshman guard, Brandy Williams on the women's basketball team. And Ty Doucette, a center forward hybrid type player. Now, <laughs> before I get into why I didn't say my last name, your first name is um, Ty Riona? Ty Riona. See? So I kind of disrespected you just now with that. That's why they so call you, me Ty. So you just like to go by Ty? Yeah. Okay. Um, I wanted to ask you guys, I'm in your face all the time doing basketball games and stuff like that on the um, ESPN platforms and the uh, CST platform. Um, what's my last name? Uh, mm -hmm. Let start with a letter. Mm -hmm. What letter? One of them in the alphabet. I know. Let's go W. So you start with a W? It does start with a W. William. Wilson. Wilson, indeed. Hey. Good call. The freshman came in the clutch. Um, <laughs> speaking of that, we've done so many games, and y'all do see us with the cameras in your faces, and sometimes you guys are like, ah, not again. Do y'all not like the attention? Is that just kind of inherited? I'll start with you, Brandy. Do you not like all the attention? Mm, not really. Yeah, I just don't like all that attention and like cameras in my face and stuff like that. Why though? I don't know. I just don't like all that type of stuff. Tell what you what you think about that? Because it's weird. I I, I ain't gonna say I don't like it. It's just like y'all be like right here. <laughs> yeah, like in our faces, and I be like I don't know. And then like some songs you have to try to ignore it. Yeah, yeah. and then like some songs be playing. I'm like oh, they got kids. <laughs> so We're gonna like, get you dancing. Yeah. So I'm just gonna just just try to shoot. Mm -hmm. Then you know you can't make eye contact with the camera. You can't just look at it. Sometimes we wanted to look at y'all, but you can't look at y'all. True professional. You can't look at the camera. Mm -hmm. I see your vision. Um, you two having strong seasons. Uh, before we get into this year, I kind of want to go back. I asked you guys before we started recording if you guys knew of each other. Um, so you were obviously here first, you being a sophomore, Brandy, this being your first year, but you guys played against each other in high school, or what, what was the situation there? <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, we played against each other. <laughs> Why she so short about it, Brandy? Uh, I think because uh, we blew him out. You ain't, she, 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 she. We blew him out about <laughs> your junior year. <laughs> your junior year? Blew yes. him out. What, what do we mean? What are we talking? What kind of point spread look, are we talking? Look, if that don't matter. They won, we lost, that's it. <laughs> Playoffs or regular season? Regular. Yeah, it, it was, was like it, it was like a pre season like a jamboree or something, something yeah. like that. So it don't count. They, oh. but, I mean, <laughs> it don't count. <laughs> no. You're not gonna hit them with the point spread? How much we talking? She about? don't remember. I don't, yeah. I don't remember. You look like you do though. <laughs> yeah. How much how much we talk? I don't remember. I I, I don't remember. Over twenty? Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Ty, you were here first, so as a, a standout in high school in your own right, um, what made you decide to come to the University of Louisiana? Because like, I live 45 minutes away. Mm -hmm. And when I had my three surgeries, they were still recruiting me. Three surgeries? Yeah, I had three knee surgeries. Like torn ACL? Meniscus, two on my left, one on my right. So throughout your collegiate career, did you just have one bad year? or What, what are we talking here? What do you mean? Uh, throughout your high school career? or? What you mean? What, what so, you mean? so were the injuries back to back to back? Oh or yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, my uh, sophomore and junior year. Wow. So I didn't play my sophomore and junior year. And they kept recruiting you. Who stayed in your ear? All of them. Really? Yeah. They actually found my doctor for my right knee. Really? And so the um, were the injuries through basketball or were you playing any other sports? Uh, my right knee I tore long jumping. Mm. And the other, the other two was basketball. Oh, so they stayed on you. You were two sports star. They knew the athleticism. Yeah, but I quit track after I tore my, tore my meniscus. Really? Yeah. Okay, and then you, the focus was strictly on basketball, and then the coaches here just stayed on you. Mm hmm Any other schools garner interest? Mm-hmm. Like, like, like who? Uh, like Little Rock and like Texas. What's that school called? Louisiana Tech. Mm-hmm. They own LSU. Uh, so Southeastern, and there's some other ones, but I just it's too much. So outside of the coaches kind of staying on you to get you here, what what kind of drew you to them more? Outside of them just kind of staying on you. Uh, cause like I f 
I don't know. Like, I just felt like I was supposed to be over here. And, like, it didn't feel like like they were just, like, they, they needed me just for basketball. Like, I feel like it was a little bit more than that. Awesome. Brandy, I mean, you were in the playoffs, deep in the playoffs, practically every year of your high school career, known for winning. Um, why the University of Louisiana? Um, I guess because, like, like Ty said, I live like an hour away, and I still have family that live out here. So it was like I wasn't too far from family, so I was like right in the middle. And so, other were the schools calling or? Yes. Like who? Um, UNO, Magni, Southeastern, Sam Houston, uh, LSU, Lamar. So yeah. So everybody pretty much in the Louisiana area yeah. uh, was on you. And um, what was it like winning so much, especially junior, senior year? Um, what is that feeling like making it to uh, deep in the tournament runs? And were you the leader of that team or what uh, What was that situation there? Because we, we know you can score, uh, but were you a vocal leader? How, how were you guys consistently winning at that school? Um. I, I wouldn't say I was a vocal leader because it wasn't just me. We also had like Coco and this other girl named Bailey who was like our really like vocal leader. So, I mean, making the playoffs and stuff, it wasn't, you know, it was hard at first because my freshman year we wasn't really good or anything. And then sophomore year, I don't know, we just turned up something. And, yeah. <laughs> when you guys played each other and – um Brandy dusted you. Um, <laughs> did you see something in her that kind of made you say that she she could be ready for the next level? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> that girl was just killing everybody, mm. doing what she do now, mm. driving in all that. But I told them before we got with the bus, she was gonna do that. You told your teammates before you got <laughs> off the bus. Yep. So you called it and she delivered. Yep. And I was just in the game like I told you so. Wow. Um, let's fast forward to this year. You guys are on this court together. Um, Brandy, did you envision yourself in the role that you are now, a starter and someone that we need to score every night? No, because I knew, I knew we had a lot of great talent coming in, so I didn't see myself as like, you know, coming in, scoring like this or anything. Were you ready for that moment, or you just were like, okay, I'm doing this now? Yeah, it, it just kind of happened. It was like a natural thing. And Ty, entering this year, um, especially with the guards that were brought in this year um, as well, um, did you see a difference from Brandy and the other ones, kind of a separation there where you kind of saw this role coming in? Uh, Like in the summer, I could have tell. Like, I don't know. It was like just the way she would do, like the way she would practice and stuff. I could have tell that she would have been playing good this year. Mm -hmm. And like I, we was telling her in the summer that she would have been starting. And she was like, no, I'm not. I was like, okay. Bashful. <laughs> <laughs> we done told her. And now, Ty, before we get, excuse me, uh, deeper in the Brandy situation, your season as well, being a sophomore, you've been thrusted into a – key starting role and leadership position as well. How's that transition been from you from your freshman year? Uh, last year, like, I wasn't really needed to score. So I was just, like, really just in there just rebound. But this year, like, they need me to score. But it took me a while to, like, realize that because I was just, like, passing it and stuff, and they would get on me about that because I didn't really think I was, like, a scorer. But now I know that I got a score, so that's what I – I do. Me being in my first year here as well, and especially watching you, Ty, in certain games, it's like there's a light there where you, sp you smell blood and you can take over a game. And then there's some nights where you kind of decide to take a back seat. Um, is that just me being crazy or do you kind of see that as well? I don't, yeah, I don't know why I do that. Just kind of taking a, a, a back seat role? Yes. I mean... Sometimes I feel like I don't need to do it all the time. Sometimes I feel like like I can like they can do it. Like I don't need to be the one scoring every game like that. Why would you think that? Because I don't know. I like I just don't 
really care about scoring sometimes. Like, I can just rebound, pass it out, and if she scores, I'm, I'm cool with it. But if there's a night where you're expecting somebody else to pick up that slack, you know, especially early in the season where you're averaging 15 points a game, mm -hmm. double-digit rebounds a game, and then all of a sudden, uh, let me pass it off. Why, why would that happen? I don't know. You need that dominance, right? Yeah. I just be... Sometimes I play to my uh, point, like I play to the team. Like if the team is not that good, then I would just not play as good. Oh, really? Playing down to the level type yeah, of deal? I do that a lot. What do you see in Ty? One night she's up top, and then another night she's more passive. What do you think that is? What is it, Brandy? I mean, I don't know. You, you can just basically tell that she's not like a selfish player, like when she does that type of stuff. But, you know. I mean, we, we have certain games where we like we really need her to like turn or, or like get points, so we just like get on her and stuff like that. Ty, you seem really cool. Just cool, though, <laughs> like all the time. How do you get somebody like Ty to get motivated to be dominant every night? Are the coaches on you harder, or what? do they have to fight you to get you mad? What's your, Coach, what's your motivation, Ty? Man, but Coach Deacon. He be the one that be the main one that be mad at me for not shooting. But I don't know. Like, I just, sometimes I just don't be wanting to. Do you have to be angry? or? Yeah. Okay. So they have to make you mad before every game? <laughs> yeah. Now I'm going to tell the coaches this. They already you know. You're going to be mad at me? Oh, okay. All right. As long as they already know. <laughs> they already know. <laughs> Why anger? Why is anger the driving force? Because, like, when I'm angry, like, I can do any kind of stuff. What's an angry tie look like? I don't. They don't know. I, I don't know. They don't know. The only thing, the only way they can tell I'm mad is if my eyebrows raise up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. That's the only way. I don't show it. And it's never off the court. It's usually on the court, or what? That I'm you're, mad. You're angry with the eyebrows raised. Oh no, it's normally off. <laughs> <laughs> so you get more upset off the court than, than on the court. What makes what makes Ty upset then? Off the court? What could I do right now to get Ty upset? Smack. Like uh smushing your food. Mm. Oh yeah. Don't don't touch my food. No, no, you can't eat. Just don't let me hear you eat. Oh, you saying like smacking while I'm Yeah. Oh, so you have pet peeves that make you up. see you too cool, man. <laughs> Somehow, we got to get you upset more often. Um, Brandy, what's your motivation out there on the court? What gets you going? I guess, like, the team, like, whenever somebody, like, playing good or something like that, that motivates me to, like, play good also. Oh, so you feed off energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but to be honest, <laughs> from game one of you entering, you've been shooting. Is that like your forte? You want to come in and fire up shots and, and, and get, get your group going early? I mean, no. I mean, sometimes, like, the coaches get on me for, like, not shooting. So I guess, like, as we get into the season more, I start shooting more and stuff like that because they would get on me about not shooting. Fully encompassing Brandy, Ty, what are some of her best traits? Uh, in basketball? In general. Uh, well, Brandy is a good penetrator okay. okay brandy can shoot you know brandy can play defense yeah mm -hmm. let me see off the court she getting all shy the freshman getting shy i guess she funny <laughs> <laughs> yes why'd you take offense to that just now you think you're funny she's Sometimes. shorting you right now <laughs> What about Ty? What are her best traits? Okay, on the court, I gotta say she finished around the room really good. Like when she moves. shoots and doesn't pass when she's <laughs> yeah, underneath the basket. She... Okay, yeah. And off the court, she really funny. I am. Yeah, she she funny like period. Like I don't go a day without laughing at her or <laughs> whenever she say something or something like that. You guys are in a one on one game. To seven, who wins? Me. <laughs> uh, me. Pro okay, yeah, probably Ty. I, I'm gonna give her that. You yeah. see, she know. Why? Why are you just gonna succeed like that? She finished around the room way better than me. So like, even if I get to the room, yeah. The only way Brandon gonna win is if she outside. 
Mm, you're not chasing her? Oh, no. Oh, then that could be a problem because she can hit the three. I know. That's how she's going to win. <laughs> oh, so you're just waiting on the rebound to come off and then you're taking over. I see your vision there. Yep. Let's zoom into this season. Brandy, true freshman, getting a ton of minutes early, now starting. Is there a player or a situation that may have been your toughest test this year so far? Mm, no, I don't think. Do you remember the name Chastity Bars from the University of Lamar? That's that breaker? Oh, yes, yes, I do. She came into the season averaging six steals a game. Oh, yeah. She hit our average. She hit her average, and I think she went one over her average. I can remember looking at you as they started pressing. You guys are playing hot potato with the ball, and I remember the practicing before Coach Broadhead was really like, we have to break the press. He was on you guys heavy on it, and then they started pressing. And I saw, and I'm just being honest, Chastity had you wide-eyed a little bit because mm -hmm. she could drive a little bit as well. So offensively she was going and she was getting the ball back. But since that game, there's just been a different sort of aggressiveness that I've seen for you, from you, especially offensively and driving. Um, and that may have just been because that was, a, that was the first game that we uh, broadcasted on ESPN, so there was lights around and all that stuff as well. But since the early goings of the season, have you felt sort of, sort of a progression in yourself that has made you a better player? Um, yes, because like in that game, um, like at the end, I wasn't like specifically in help, and I was supposed to be in help. And like the girl of driving, and they won the game. So like ever since that day, I'm like I have to stay in help. Like I can't hug on my man. So like basically ever since that loss, it's like it was something that clicked. So I just started playing like way better. And that's, that's funny you say that because you, you brought up a very specific point because, I mean, Skyler had an opportunity, the game-winning shot that just mm -hmm. rimmed out at the very end. So you're literally saying, hey, me at the end of that game, if I'm in place, maybe there's a different outcome. Mm -hmm. Did that game hurt a little bit? Yeah, it did. Yeah. Going back, I had looked at it, and I was like, what happened? Like, how did she have, like, a wide-open lane? And I went back and seen, like, I was hugged on my man, and I was in, like, the right position because I could have easily just, like, turned and took a charge, and that would have, like, stopped the whole play. But I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I don't want to bring you back to bad times. I just, you know, that's interesting that you had the, uh, the wherewithal to bring that. And then, Ty, we see you, and I'm sure you hear it every day. <laughs> Your athleticism in a lot of games is going to get you by. What would you say has been your something that you've worked on, say, since this summer um, to kind of progress your um, fundamentals just pure basketball-wise, be it dribbling, extending your jumper? Uh, what are some things that you've worked on? Oh, shooting. Yeah. I've been trying to shoot more. Can you hit the three? Oh. That's a little too far out right <laughs> yeah, now? <laughs> yeah, it's taking about a year to do that. But, yeah, I'm trying to shoot more because, like, all I do is drive. So people, like, they knowing that, and they can start to take charges on me and stuff. So I'm trying to shoot more. Mm. Um, this, you've been an extremely young player. Is there a player or a situation this season that you can look back on and say, yeah, I got beat up there, but I learned a lot? Uh, old girl from Mississippi State, that big girl. Mm. I, I, I can't remember her name myself. You know her name? Um, oh, well, I, the big girl. The, I'm gonna think about okay. it when I talk. Yes, and, huh. and what what happened there? That kind of she was just big. I, so kind of boxing you out was yes, kind of the issue, and trying to get around her mm. was hard. You couldn't just out jump her because she mm. had her weight on you. Yeah. Um, was she talking to you? Mm. -mm. Okay. <laughs> she don't. She didn't say nothing. She was just giving you that work and moving on. Yeah, and if she did, I wouldn't. I'd be like, okay. <laughs> 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 Bailey Plummer from Appalachian State. Oh, yeah. Um, she came in averaging like 13 rebounds per game. What was it like going another big body? What was it like going against her? To be honest, it wasn't as hard as I uh I thought it was. Hype it, was a little bigger than. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. last year when I played her, it was a little bit harder. Really? Yeah. It was kind of hard when I played it last year. What but, was the difference there? 
Probably because I had more experience okay. than I did last year. Came in a little bit smarter, ready to work against her. Yeah. Um, so this year, Brandy, you and Andrea were, went about two weeks being the leading freshman scorers in the Sun Belt Conference. Um, Andrea, just shooting wise, has kind of dropped out a little bit, but you're still up there, um, averaging double digit points. And you got this whole free throw thing going where you knock down 20 plus in a row and then that kind of broke, but you've only got like one miss in like your last 10 games or so. And you've been doing this kind of since high school. What's your, what's your focus from the free throw line and why is that so important? I mean, at first, like when I entered high school, I wasn't really like free throws wasn't like a big deal to me. But then like every day at practice, coach would do like pressure free throws. So you basically had to knock it down or you was running like a suicide. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So I guess, like, free throws just became easy to me. And, like, I don't really focus on anything. I just go up there and shoot it. Ty, you guys, when she goes to the line, is it like, all right, we got two automatic? That's how you feel? Yeah. But I still tell her, like, all right, Brandon, we need it. Yeah. yeah. She'd be like, all right. But you ready for this. It's better than running suicides. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ty, where are you at from the free throw line this year? Are you at around the – I don't know. <laughs> I can't say I'm better than I was in high school. Okay. Yeah. But obviously, you need to get to the free throw line more. Mm -hmm. You have the ball underneath the basket so often, Ty. Just put it up and get the foul, man. <laughs> I know you hear it every day. I mean, I know, but it's like, it's like if I see somebody open, I'm going to just throw it. Even if you under the basket <laughs> and, and somebody I, if, three? Yep. But it's like because sometimes they be double teaming me. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, even if I can score, I'd rather just throw it out and let them do it. Ty, what's your support system now? Um, you, you live 45 minutes away. Are parents coming to games, siblings? They, they had every game for you? Yeah. Okay. Um, you're learning a lot. Um, being a sophomore, you know how to wash your own clothes and stuff now? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. You learned that in college or you learned that at home? Home. Okay. All but right. it's easier over here because you got to press like a button and then do it for you. Done. But at home, you got to do it a certain way. You cooking? Oh, no. <laughs> Uh uh. So you you're relying on the campus meal every. Nope, I go buy my own food. Okay, I can dig it. Um, Brandy, your support system. Parents come to every game. Your, you said your family's about an hour out. Are they? My mom. She comes. She's been to every game so far. How's she feeling about her her baby as a freshman starting and putting in all these minutes? I mean, I don't know. She she never really talk about it. Like she don't really. Like my men's and stuff, like she don't really care about that as long as I'm happy and playing. So, yeah. You have two two or three older siblings? I have three. Three older siblings. Um, so you were chasing them your entire life, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Did yeah. they all play ball? Yeah, they actually they all played for bar. My brother played his freshman year, and my sister, Caitlin, who's the second oldest, she played until her senior year. And then my sister Megan, she was just a manager. <laughs> but still a part of the yeah. team. So uh, you grew up around basketball. Huh? Yeah. When did you first uh, pick up a ball and start shooting? Probably like four, mm. I think. Yeah. You're making them or no? Probably not. You weren't making them think. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Ty, when did you first pick up a basketball? Four. I was four, too. You, you acting like you was dunking or something. Like <laughs> I don't know. I was not good. <laughs> you weren't good? Mm mm. So. When did, when would you say you 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 got good? Because you were athletically you were running tracks. So you knew you could run and and jump and say, stuff like that. But I'll say I started getting good like my seventh grade year. Mm -hmm. That's when I started playing high school. So oh then, okay. Yep. Okay, some light. I was twelve mm -hmm. years. I was twelve years old. Okay, now you're bragging a little bit. All right. <laughs> um, Brandy, was there a point at this season where you said, "Okay, I'm breathing now." And I can play here at the Division One level. Uh yes, let's see. I remember what game it was, but like after the game, I realized like when I first got here, I was like, I don't know, like if I can like play as good in high school as I did, cause like it was high school, so like I was like, now I'm in college playing against like twenty, twenty one, and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I guess like I'm doing better than what I thought that mm -hmm. I was gonna do. Ty, do you remember that moment, maybe your freshman year, or maybe it came this year where you're like, okay, I can play. It was this year. It was this year. Because, like, I was – the way I was scoring, like, I was doing it easy. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm I guess I, I'm good. Okay. Um, and then Mississippi State came. 
Yeah. Mm. But it's not. Man, she ain't really doing nothing. She's just big. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah. what? But they're looking back at that film and the tough game you had. Because was was that also a game where did you leave? It was like two points. I you had, had two points. Yep. Um, looking back at that film, I don't know if you guys even watch back that film. Um, but looking back at that, where, did you see ways that you could have been a lot more efficient? Yeah. I mean, I would punk fake her, but, like, I would shoot while she was jumping. So I guess I would have to just wait until she <laughs> came down. But so little things. You're like, you think it was nerves or was it just? I guess if, I think it was both. Like, just being because she was so big and then, like, just not taking my time with stuff. Brandy, you're majoring in biology? Mm-hmm. What, what do we want to do with that there? Are you going to keep it? You're a freshman. You know, people change their majors all I the know. time. I um, know. I'm going to keep it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to, like, pre-vet and stuff like that. So. you uh, what's, what's that again? Pre-what? Pre-vet. Or, like, veterinarian. Really? Yeah. Animals is your thing. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. I had a lot. What, what, what are we talking here? Whew. All right. <laughs> I had at least eight cats. I had at least nine dogs. In the house? Well, like throughout my period, like time. Oh, oh okay. All right, um, I'm back. I think like three birds, uh, four hamsters, one gerbil, four rabbits. I had all that type of stuff. Wow. So throughout your lifetime, you had over 20 animals Pretty in the much. household. Um, one of the toughest parts, though, is like seeing them age mm-hmm. and then having to say goodbye to them. I mean, you were okay with that as well? No, I wasn't. I mean, if you're going to be a vet. I know, I know. People say that all the time. Like, are you going to cry? You feel like you have to put one down. But, I mean, probably not. Now that I'm older and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And I realized they had to go. <laughs> go. <laughs> no. You, uh, Ty, you are in nursing. I was. You what? You already changed. I had to. Sophomore year, Ty? I had to. <laughs> I had to. It was getting too much. I was like, oh, is this either I stay here and I don't graduate. Mm-hmm. Or do something that's similar to nursing, then go to nursing school after I graduate. Make sure you get the undergrad degree. Yeah. Um, well, so what are you in now? I'm in health. I'm health and wellness. Health and wellness, okay. Yeah. Is that what um, physical education teachers and stuff take? Or? Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So what What are you looking to do? Like with that, I can be like a, I don't know what I can do with that. But I'm not worried about what I can do with that because all I want to do is be a nurse. So, oh, so you're just using... I'm just using the you're, class. You're setting up for grad school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so right after I graduate, I'm going straight to nursing school. Okay. And then what do you what do you want to be your primary focus out of nursing school? I want to be a NICU with the, with the babies and stuff. A lot of children, huh? I like babies. <laughs> so not kids. I like... when they babies. I like babies that's not, like, mine. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, fair. So I got to do just, like, wash their hair... Change the diaper and give them straight to their mom. Now they make a lot of noise. You okay with that? No. See? You talking about her. Like babies and noise kind of goes hand in hand. Oh, no, I don't know. Because, no, we watched, we watched Kim Baby mm-hmm. the other day. <laughs> Loud. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. For right now, is that. Okay. Um, ultimate goal um, as we get closer to uh, the tournament. Um, how far can this team go this season? All the way. Yeah, I would say all the way. So d- regardless of the record, regardless of um, certain things with uh, certain losing streaks and stuff like that, you still feel like you can win the Sun Belt Conference tournament? Yes. Yeah. What makes you say that? Because both of you are extremely confident on that. Because, like, the losses, that's some stuff that we did. So we can fix that. And we're fixing it. So. What, what about you? I mean, every team we played against, we basically stayed with them. So, yeah. Like, we can beat anyone, like even Troy. Like, we had the opportunity to beat them, too. So, like, yeah, we can stay with anyone. So, you guys are watching back film and in practice and are like, all of these wounds are self inflicted. Yeah. Any game that you wish you had back this year? Probably, I mean, I don't know. Ty? LSU. 
We could have beat them. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's mm. a good one. We could have beat them. You had a sound bite before that game. Or you said it's extra motivation because they right here and we wanna we wanna run Louisiana. You said it. We mm-hmm. use it on the broadcast. Got some good feedback. And it was a pretty good game. Yeah. Feel it's like you should have got them, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. That'd have been huge. I know. There'll be uh there'll be other chances for that. I think you guys got some time. Um Ty, you were born in nineteen ninety nine. You know where I was in nineteen ninety nine? College. No. no. I don't know. That was my uh Freshman year of high school. You were born in 2000. <laughs> this you is crazy. Do you guys boy. know names like um, Nelly? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. You name a song from her? I'm, uh, I'm the Lim, the Lim, the Lim. Uh, that song with Ashanti. Oh, okay. That was much later. Yep. Yeah. See? You got a song from Nelly you can remember? She don't know. She a, hey, I know Nelly. She, really she, 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 she a 2000 baby. I'm a 90s baby. I barely made it, but I'm still a 90s baby. <laughs> you know who Ja Rule is? Yep. You got a song from Ja Rule? With Ashanti. <laughs> you want Ashanti? <laughs> um, shoot, I can't even think of anything. So, your freshman year of high school was what, what year? 2015, I think. Oh. 2015, that was our yeah. full blown professional at that point. Yikes. And so you were. 14. Mm hmm. And what, what was the what was the hot thing then? Like movies? Like what were y'all, what did y'all grow up on? Like Pokemon? What, what was the thing? No. Did y'all do um, <laughs> Beanie Babies? What's that? Oh. I, I can't even think. What was y'all thing? Like, what did y'all grow up on? Uh, my brother watched not a lot of Naruto, so Ooh. I was there watching Naruto too. Dragon Ball Z. Oh yeah, they had that. I never watched none of that. What did you? What was your like, like your thing? Like you, your go to like entertainment. Oh, I like SpongeBob, but I don't think it was part of that. I'm pretty sure SpongeBob's first year was 1999. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, that's why I like it so much. <laughs> <laughs> players, did you guys watch any players growing up that you kind of mimicked? I didn't really watch basketball. You didn't even watch basketball. You was just playing it. What about you? Um, Scarlett Diggins. Mm. She, um, what did she, oh, she was just pregnant? Was that yeah, the she situation? Is, yeah, she, she was about to have a baby. Yeah. Okay, okay. Brandy Williams and Ty Rihanna. <laughs> do set. Yep. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you for having us.